What's up? In this video, I want to show you how to remove clicks and pops and noise from a recording of an old vinyl record. You're going to need a mono vinyl record and a stereo recording of that record using a stereo needle and a stereo record player. So once you have that recording, I can show you how to use Adobe Audition to remove the noise in a way that it, it works a lot better than a lot of other techniques. So let me show you, show you how to do it. Here on my screen, you see a recording of a mono vinyl record, but this recording is in stereo. Uh, and that's important because what we're basically gonna do is remove the stereo information from this mono, what should be a mono track and a lot of that stereo information is going to be noise that was picked up by the stereo record player because it was on the surface of the actual record so it's dust and cracks and you know scratches all that information is getting picked up in stereo by the stereo record player but that wasn't part of the original recording and so all of the mono information that is in the actual vinyl is going to be preserved and the all of the noise on top of it we can strip out so that's that's the basic idea so first of all i want to show you that there is noise on this record so go ahead and zoom in here open up the spectral frequency display you see some noise there um, i'll go ahead and play it i'm not sure if it's loud enough to hear but here let me boost this up for you yep sounds like noise so Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We we'll go up to effects, go to stereo imagery, center channel extractor. Usually you use this on stereo tracks because you're trying to either boost the stereo part of it or uh, strip out the stereo information and get the, the mono track. You can do this to process, you know, I, I use it quite a bit when I'm uh, remastering recordings and I don't have the original tracks. Uh, it's, a, it's a way to separate out at least a little bit of the information. Uh, but in this case, we're basically doing the same thing, but just because we want to get that noise out of there. So what we do is we drop the side channel levels. Again, that's the stereo information that we don't want. Drop that down to as low as we can and leave the center channel level at zero and hit apply and this is going to take a little bit. Now it's not going to remove all the noise, but it's going to remove a lot of it. And even, even the noise that's left over is going to be a lot easier to extract. Uh, you can see here, there's still some, some noise left over, uh, but we can, we can extract that out using the noise reduction tool over here. We'll capture that noise print and then extract that out. And hit apply and now most of that noise is gone so I've never seen anybody use that tool before for that specific technique so I thought it was kind of cool I wanted to share that with you subscribe and um, I'll be uploading a lot more videos showing you tips and tricks in Adobe Audition